Today's story, The Flood, or Didn't It Rain? It's time to go back to that house just down the street and around the corner, where we find Professor Peeper. Hmm, this inscription is definitely old, but I can't figure out whether it was important or not. Here's my chance. He's so busy with that old stone, he won't notice that I've gone to play baseball. Sorry, Ruffles. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Someone who's planning to play ball now rather than do his homework? Would you mind if I got a little exercise? How many times must I tell you homework comes first? Ruffles, if you hadn't been sleeping right in my path, I'd be playing baseball by now. Hiya, Chris. Have you done your homework for tomorrow yet? Isn't it interesting you should ask? We were just talking about that. Hmm. Christopher, I suggest you get after your arithmetic. Oh, thanks for being so helpful, Miss Budensky. Why couldn't you suggest baseball? Joy's right. Now, why don't you both do your homework? Now, these problems. Did you grasp what the teacher said about subtraction and addition of fractions, Chris? Well, I'm not too positive about the last part. All right. At least you understand the first part. Well, that's not so clear to me either. How about the rest of it? I understand the middle, even less than the beginning and end. Christopher Peeper, you're no dumbbell. I know you could learn this. If only you'd stop goofing off and do what you know is right. Ruffles, your dinner's ready. Come and get it. Joy, I think we need a break, too. Your father's right, Chris. You don't care about anything worthwhile. It's time you learned about caring. Superbook. Ever seen anything like this before? It looks like a big boat. The biggest boat ever made. But it's on dry land. What's a big boat doing on dry land? That, my boy, is an ark. The ark, built by Noah when he was 600 years old. Would you like to know why? Yes. Can we go there? If you believe, all things are possible.
Excuse me, can we get through? Oh. Excuse me, why is that man building a boat here? Because he must be crazy. Noah is his name, and he built this stupid thing all by himself. Look at him up there, covering the whole thing with pitch so it won't leak water. Huh. There's no water around here for miles. And his reason is because of the flood. There's going to be a flood? He's supposed to have gotten that message from God. Hmm. If there's a God up there, why hasn't he spoken to any of us? Maybe it wasn't God after all, just some little cuckoo bird. <laughs> Look, here comes the bird brain now. Let's see what he's hatched. <laughs> Good news. The ark is finished, dear wife and children, and not a bit too soon. What's the latest word from God, old man? Did he tell you how to get this hunk of junk off this mountaintop and into the water to see if it floats? But maybe we should leave it here as a monument to stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, laugh if you will, my friends, but I really feel sorry for you. I say what I've said before, God is very displeased with mankind. Your sin and wickedness and constant wrongdoing has become a stench that reaches up to heaven. Therefore, God means to destroy all of you. What a spoil sport. Don't listen to him. He doesn't get any fun out of life, so he's trying to stop the rest of us from having fun. That's the way to fun and games. Now you can either join us or stay here and worry about the flood. Let's go with those people. They're going to have a party. Wait a minute. We're not here for partying. It's Noah and his ark that we've been brought here for. Joy is right. Joy is right. Our mission, examine ark, meet Noah, help him all we can, if we can. What a pair you are. Never want anyone to have fun. Don't you think we'd have more fun examining the Ark than going to some old party? Uh-huh. So Superbook brought us here to meet you, Mr. Noah. I'll be. In all my 600 years, I've never met people that came from the future. That must mean God will repopulate the Earth. Mm-hmm. I see. Then that must mean that our trip will be successful. It looks like we will survive the flood. Excuse me, but do you really think there'll be a flood? Young man, when you have been chosen by God for such an assignment, you can't doubt his word. You know it's the truth. Why would God destroy what he made? Because as the generations of man increased in the world, they became more and more selfish. They forgot about God's law, the law of love. And selfishness is the great granddaddy of every sin in the world. All the crimes, all the wickedness. But man would not change his ways. So now everyone will die except for we here. But now, of all the beasts of the field and birds that fly, and even every creeping thing, we must bring two aboard the ark, male and female of each. So let's do it. We're with you, Father. That would be fun, helping them bring in all of those animals, even the insects. Sure, though I'm not too happy about snakes and spiders. Trust me, I'll bring them in. Now you see, party not only kind of fun. Quiet, robot. If I wanted your opinion, I'd ask for it. Oh, I forgot you got such a hard head. I'm sore, as well as sorry, Gizmo. Oh, my hand. <laughs> Get a move on, Mr. Tortoise. You'll be left behind. See that? Old man Noah must be planning on opening some kind of zoo. Maybe he's getting ready to preach his God stuff to the animals. That way he'll have a captive audience. <laughs> hey, you forgot one pair, Noah. so many different kinds of animals gathered together in one place like this before. This is much better than any zoo I've ever seen, and they're not even in cages. Listen to me. Friends, welcome to the Ark. This is going to be your home for the next few months. Now, it may be a bit crowded, but it won't last forever, so I guess we'll just have to make the most of it. And please keep the noise down. Ha! Uh, oh. Look at this. This raven wants to be my friend. The dove picked me. New friends need new names. 
Why not name them? It'd be nice if he could say his name. I know. Let's call him Ka. Ka! And what name would suit you, my pet? I know. Dove of Peace. Oh. <laughs> Here's for the great. Greats are great. I can dance, I can sing. I'm the greatest living thing. God in heaven, if only they would have listened, the earth could have been spared. Time has come. We'd better go inside and batten down the hatches. Right. Did you hear what I heard? Oh! Is it? It, it couldn't be! be. I, it is! Oh. I'll never believe those weathermen again. Oh, dear. Do you think it'll stop soon, or will my beautiful dress be ruined to say nothing of my hair? No, it could have been right. And the flood was 40 days and 40 nights upon the earth. And the waters increased and bore up the ark. And the ark went upon the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth. And every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground. But on the 30th day on the ark where life prevailed, life went on as usual. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Nothing but rain, 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 rain. Noah says only 10 more days and it'll be over. Hang in there, Chris. You and I know that everything will turn out all right in the end. That's right. Don't complain. Have patience. That's easy enough for you to say, but you don't have any feelings, Gizmo. Get out of here! Ah! Even that crazy bird tells me to have patience. Now, young man, bring your lady friend and come over here. I want to show you something. Huh? Oh, oh look. <whistles> wow, a deer has been born. Isn't it beautiful? Mm-hmm. New life is a good sign. Means God wants us to know that life will go on. He speaks true. New life. Good sign. Hello there. You know I'm your friend, don't you? And still it rained. Until the morning of the 41st day. But after the rain stopped, the passengers on the ark had to wait for some time. It won't be long now, girls. Just keep laying eggs. <laughs> we appreciate it. As the waters receded, the ark came to rest on Mount Ararat, and the crew could finally come out. Oh, isn't it beautiful? The sunshine. Look at it. It's marvelous. I don't think I've ever enjoyed the sun so much. But we don't know yet if the water has receded and the land is exposed. How do we find that out, Mr. Noah? Well, this bird shall be able to help us. Fly away and see if you can bring in a sign that dry land has appeared. But day turned to night, and the raven never returned. The next morning, Noah decided to send out the dove to scout for dry land. 
But as it rose to the sky, Noah felt a certain sense of despair. After a day of waiting, the dove finally returned, but without any sign of dry land. Chris, what's the matter? Why are you sitting out here? Oh, just wondering how long it's been since we got in this boat and if we'll ever get off it. Let me see. I think it's been about six months. I think I'm getting homesick. That computes. You miss your father and you miss your friends. Not really, but if I were back in school, I know I'd study a lot harder so I wouldn't grow up to be a dumbbell. Oh, Chris, it's so good to know you feel that way now. It must be that you've learned something important on this trip. After all, we've been through one of the most important moments in the history of mankind. Maybe you're right, it's a great moment for mankind, but it seems like I've been here for months and months and months already. If you like, I will compute the exact amount of time since we first set foot on the Ark. Don't bother, Gizmo, it isn't important. We know everything's gonna turn out all right. In the meantime, we just have to be patient. Hang in there, Chris, you can do it. I suppose you're right, Joy, I suppose you're right. Slowly but surely, the water goes down as the sun continues to shine. Christopher, aren't you up yet? It's morning. It's morning. Time to get up. Time to get up. Oh, go away. Let me sleep. There's nothing to get up for. Christopher Paper, don't you want to see it when Noah sends out the dove again? Really? That's today? <laughs> God speed, little dove, and may you return with some sign to show us we can live on dry land again. And what's this? Of my two friends from future time? One is not at table? That's right. Chris decided that he wouldn't eat until that dove comes back with some sign of dry land. Well, that's very touching, but the boy must keep up his strength lest he gets sick. Christopher, you must be hungry keeping watch all this time. Yes, sir. I'm about ready to give up because I don't think the dove will ever come back. My raven never came back, and the little dove is probably dead by now. That's a possibility, but I prefer to have faith. Look, the day's almost over. Soon it'll be too dark for the dove to find us. Attention! Attention! Identified flying object. One dove approaching the ark, coming in for a landing. Turn. Look, she brought us back a twig of some kind. Right. I don't recognize those leaves. It's... Yes, of course, it's an olive branch. But that means the water has gone down enough for plants and trees to grow. That's right, Joy. It won't be long now. We'll soon be living on dry land again. That's great. I may even kiss the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Time passed more quickly now for everyone on board. Their journey on water was over, but before they could make their next journey on land, the Earth had to replenish itself. Oh, God, we thank you for the beautiful new world and for the wonderful opportunity to begin again. And please, O oh Lord, give us a sign that we may know we have your blessing as we strive to do what is right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Noah, 
This is the sign I give unto you and unto all generations. Let the rainbow remain forever a symbol of my promise. I shall never again destroy the earth by flood. Unto you and your children I say, be ye fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth with sons and daughters, even as the plants and all living creatures continue to increase and provide abundance. Noah, you are the hope of this new world. Yes, Joy, children. Oh, sleeping. And here I brought them a nice treat because I thought they were studying so nice. Well, that just shows you. Oh, Father, please forgive me. I didn't mean to be gone so long. Huh? Please, have my parents been worried? Don't be silly. You haven't been away. You must have both been dreaming. It's only been an hour since you both came up here. Huh? Only an hour? Are you positive? My dear boy, I certainly know how to tell time. So come on, I'll have some cookies and milk. Sometimes you really surprise me, Father. I'll bet you must be a direct descendant of Noah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Sir, I'd say I'm lucky to be your son. How about that? Huh? Hmm? Hmm. Time to leave the house just down the street and around the corner where exciting things happen for those who believe in Superbook. Don't you know it's so, so simple? 